Tonight on this isn't Top Gear. Welcome back to a Forza Horizon 5 and yesterday we took a look at Lancia and today I promised to take a look at this. So that's what we're going to do. Because for 20 points in summer of series 24 you can go ahead and grab yourself this. The Alfa Romeo 155 Q4. As to why it's the Q4 is beyond me really. This thing has 187 brake horsepower and 219 foot-pounds of torque, but it weighs 3,000 pounds, so it's very, very heavy indeed, but it does come with a rather nice 2-litre engine. And it looks a bit like a very old brick, to be honest with you. But to be fair, it's a car from the 90s, but let's go ahead and have a look at the interior here. We've got a few interior trim pieces, we have a Corvette doing things, and we've also got a rather interesting set of gauges. Right, let's go ahead and take a listen to that 2-litre. So here we are now over at the upgrade shop, so we'll jump straight to conversion and see what we've got in terms of engine swaps. We've got a lot. Wow, okay. We've got a 1.6 litre turbo rally, we've got a 3.5 litre V8, we have got a 4.7 litre V8, we've also got a racing 3 litre inline 6 turbo, so the 2J, we've also got a racing V6. Oh, listen to that. Yeah, that sounds good. And also we have got the 2.9 litre V6 twin turbo. I'm kind of confused as to what that's out of, to be honest. We can also make this thing rear-wheel drive as well, which we'll do a bit later on for the drifting section, but for now, let's go ahead and take a look at the upgrades. Because for aero and appearance, we've got something quite cool. We've got uh, multiple different options. We've got sort of like a more modern touring-style front bumper and another touring-style front bumper. Going to the back, we have got this interesting rear wing, of which I'm not even going to try and say the name of. We've got another Alfa Romeo wing option, and we've got another Alfa Romeo wing option, as well as everyone's least favourite. Going to the back, we've got an option for the touring car style front. Front? This is not the front. We've got this touring style back bumper, and this sort of other touring style back bumper, with a very nice set of uh, exhaust pipes in there that honestly look a bit like the edge of trumpets. And then one standard option for the side, and that is an Alfa Romeo touring car side skirt. But because we can, we're going with the touring style look. Now let's go build this thing up a bit. So here we are now at the top of A-Class. We've got 337 brake horsepower, and we've got 2,259 pounds, so a lot lighter than earlier. As for paints, we of course have nothing in advance like usual, and for manufacturer colours, we've got a few. We've got one, two, three, four, five different colours, and honestly, the white really stands out on this thing. Now I know what you're thinking, the car's all one colour, but don't you worry, this car will be all white. <laughs> Such a comedian. And away we go, we of course have got the pops and bangs of the wonderful little bit of anti-lag. We've got the Alfa Romeo, we've got a bunch of other cars, and hopefully we can go out on top of all of these, because we want to get out and get a first place, but hopefully we might just get lucky enough to do so. We have ended up passing Sweden, we have passed Ikea. Never mind, Ikea's just passed us. It's not every day you can say you get passed by Ikea. So as far as a basic A-Class build thing goes, this thing is a little bit on the mediocre side. I'm sure everybody else could probably do a lot better, but I still think it's pretty good for what it is. It just needs to be a little bit quicker. And hopefully turn. Come on, there we go. That's our first place for us. So 95%, like usual, we'll jump back in and get ourselves all the way across to the line. And there it is. Our vehicle has crossed the line with a wonderful first place with a time of 2 minutes and 8 seconds. Not too bad. But I think we still need something else, you know, just uh, a little bit of extra power and some more power and some more power and some more power. Do you think that was too much? And here we are at the... Oh, come on. Hang on, I've got an idea. There we are. There, yeah, much better. Right, let's go ahead and get a bit of a wheelie check out of this thing. Do we get anything? What do we get? Nothing. Okay. Right, let's go ahead and rock up to the track strip. Okay, now we're ready on launch control, a thousand brake horsepower, and away we go with this thing. Let's go ahead and see what we get. Hopefully it does better than the Lance here. It's got 170 something yesterday. So hopefully we'll oh we've already done so so much better. Okay, cool. Uh okay, two hundred. Cool. You can slow down now. You can slow down now. That's the end of the track strip. You can slow down, brake! Okay, yeah, that was something else, right? Let's go ahead and get this thing back onto some racing suspension, and we'll go ahead and put some proper tyres back on this thing, and then we're going to go for a little bit of a good old-fashioned top speed run. Why does saving take so long in this game? If you want to know what was in the Fuzzleton shop, feel free to go ahead and check out yesterday's video where I covered just that. And here we are, I've just slightly overstepped the grid that I use, oops. But here we are with the 1000 brake horsepower, 155. Now let's go ahead and see what this thing can do in a straight line. Hopefully it'll be very, very quick. Also, does anybody remember when Alfa Romeo had their own racing game? And out of the speed zone at 254.28, that is insane, and this thing is still accelerating. 
All right, down a hill we go. Let's see, where's our camera? There it is, 266. And we still have a little bit more downhill motorway to go. So let's go ahead and see. 269, do we get 270? Nope, that might be uh, asking a little too much from this thing. But I think 269 out of this, of all cars, is definitely very, very good. Right, I'm going to go and slap some things together. And now we're going to go and do some drifting. But first, you, 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 and you. Oh, go on then, rooms two. And now let's go ahead and drift this thing. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. We'll throw it into our usual drift zone. This thing is very, very, very sideways. Maybe some would say a little too sideways for its own good. But we go out that side at 41,214 points, which is really not too bad at all. And now back the other way we go. Let's go ahead and see what we can get out of this thing this time. Try and not hit the wall like we did yesterday. There we go. I've actually cleared it this time. I'm surprised. And 41,804 going back the other way. That is really, really impressive. However, that's going to be this video on the Alfa Romeo 155T4, which has a really unusual name, but sure, whatever. I really hope you've enjoyed this, and feel free to go ahead and leave a like and share it with some friends as well, because it helps out our channel an absolute ton, and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Stack out. See ya. Now, where's some people I can challenge?